I want to talk more flat earth. This is the thing I want to ask the round earth people to explain to me. If the earth is spinning at 700 miles an hour, 1100 miles an hour, whatever, why isn't the air spinning? And before you answer real fast and say, oh, it's all relative, it's all the same shit, the higher you go in the air, the less atmosphere there is until there's almost no atmosphere. Like 40,000 feet up, there's almost no atmosphere. So where is the break where you get away from the atmosphere in, in, in which it's no longer relative? This is a lot harder than I expected proving that the earth is round. It's fucking weird. It is, it is way, way, way harder. The jet stream's 100 miles an hour. You ever see 100 mile per hour winds? Uh, yeah, 1,000 miles per hour ain't happening. Dude, I'm telling you, it's fucked up. So, if the earth is spinning 1,100 miles an hour and the atmosphere somehow miraculously is attached to the earth, is that, is that what kind of friction is that? Sliding friction is when the, the molecules are touching. So, sliding friction is moving it along, right? Fine. When you go up enough, there's no more atmosphere. So you are now just, like if you're in a hot air balloon that goes up 30,000 miles, there's no atmosphere. So if you, why isn't the earth flying by? Stop talking about this? Ah, now you're banned. Why don't you join Coddington Bear? Get the fuck out of here. No one needs your shit. There's no wind because we are in a vacuum. You, we both know that doesn't make any sense. And I'm not a flat earth person. I want someone to fucking explain that to me. Atomic density? Saying words don't don't explain anything. Just saying atomic density. Friction. I just I just said that. There's several types of friction. That friction would be the fri um, sliding friction. Where it's two objects touching each other. Kind of like two boards. You have to go at a certain speed. If you go too fast, you slip, right? So if you go at the right speed, you carry the other board with you. We have molecules of the atmosphere, and if it's attached to our spinning shit, fine. You go up 40,000 feet, there's no atmosphere, none. It's basically a vacuum. So where do you pop out of that situation? The jet stream, that's 100 miles an hour, not 1,100. And when you're out of the atmosphere, when you're going west to east or east to west, I can't remember which way, why is the earth not flying by underneath you? You're not in that anymore. So far, no one's been able to explain that to me, which is fucking weird. Please comment on it. I would love to stay a globe earth person because being a flat earth person is another level of uh, ostracism that I really don't want at all. So please, for the love of God, someone fucking explain to me why when you leave the Earth's atmosphere, does the Earth not at that point appear to be going 1,100 miles an hour underneath you? Here's another one. Why do flights not go around the poles? Please explain this to me because I do not like where the logic is taking any of this. It's not fun. It's actually incredibly isolating. And I don't want it at all. The last thing I need in my life is to be given another label that makes me look insane. That sounds awful. Someone said not flat. Well, please fucking tell me how you can go up into near earth orbit in the, and stay still and the earth is not flying by if it's spinning on a goddamn axis. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't explain it, can you? The fuck? Inertia, that doesn't mean a goddamn thing and we both know it. Inertia. I'm just says inertia. You don't think I know about inertia? Uh, Owen is dumber than I thought, says Martin. Okay, Martin, you're no longer allowed to talk to the grown-ups. I'm obviously not dumb. If I was dumb, 3,552 people wouldn't be watching me after two hours and 11 minutes of me just talking. Dumb people don't, don't retain that amount of people. You're just a stupid person. The worst is like, I obviously understand physics. I got 
790 out of 800 on my physics PSATs, right? That's like one question I got wrong. I understand physics very, very well, not on a level of like MIT or anything like that, but on a basic way above average level, I understand the, the, the principles of physics. The earth isn't flat. That's fucking insane. Why can no one explain to me how the globe is spinning at 1100 miles an hour? And if you break the fucking atmosphere, even out of relative, whatever relative is, and you're flying in a direction opposed to the spinning, why don't you double your speed? Like if you're, if you're going 1100 miles an hour, why is it not 2200 miles an hour if, you, if, if the earth is going the opposite direction? What the fuck is that? So far, I've got nothing on it. No one can explain it. <sighs> okay, guys. All the people saying that the Earth is round, there's no way they understand the particle density and radio theory. So when they say everyone's retarded who thinks the Earth is flat, they don't understand why they think the Earth is round, is my bottom line. They don't. So when people just go, oh, well, it's... It's clearly just radio theory and fucking uh, frequency and fucking particle. No, no, you don't know. You don't know. And you're trying to fucking hold on to something that you don't understand. And that's the problem I have. Is people with this condescending, shitty attitude, but they don't actually know anything. But they go, oh, I mean, you're such a fucking idiot. Like, why would you? Then explain to me how you can go above the atmosphere and you do not see a spinning Earth. Explain to me how NASA shows us images of the Earth that are Photoshopped. The clouds are fucking duplicates of the other clouds in the fucking thing. Does that not ring any bells? And I'm incapable of going with lies. I'm in fucking capable of it. The Earth isn't flat. There's no fucking way the Earth is flat. That would probably cause me some type of nervous breakdown if that were the case. So can someone, for the love of everything good, explain to me without nonsense talk like, oh, inertia, oh, inertia. Do you know what inertia means? Do you understand the, the calculations of inertia? No, you fucking don't. It doesn't answer a goddamn thing just to say inertia. Why the fuck a spinning globe when you're going against it, it doesn't fly underneath you. Coriolis effect proves the Earth isn't flat. I, I believe that as well. Uh, I'm pr I, I really hope we have more than the Coriolis effect. Really hope we have more than that, guys. Really hope we have more than the Coriolis effect. Uh, if the Earth is flat, why lie about it being round? What is the point? I can tell you a lot of reasons. If the earth is flat, I may tap out of YouTube for a while. Like that would fuck me up, but I am not enjoying the path that this is taking me on because the arguments for the earth being round are not very strong at all, like at all. And this is something I would never, ever, ever, ever question, ever. And another thing is when I question that the moon landing didn't happen, like everybody was like oh in a month he'll think the earth is flat oh this retard's gonna think the earth is flat by the way i'm not arguing that the fucking earth is flat i just want people to fucking explain to me how it's round i'm watching you go through what i went through before i believed the earth was flat it's hysterical and amazing can't get enough of your show i, I i'm having a i'm not comfortable with any of this and uh i'm not on board with the flat earth thing at all. I'm just uh, finding the arguments for round earth to be, because I'm preparing to debate this Eric Dubai guy, Dubai. And so I want my fucking arguments concrete. The arguments for round earth are horrible. How about until the flat earthers can build their own rockets and take pictures, we don't stress over it? Well, NASA has been proven to be the biggest liars on the fucking planet. So, uh, and they have, like a bunch of flat earth people have gotten balloons to go up 120,000 feet and they take pictures of a world with no curve.
I'm not comfortable with any of it. Neither are you. But I'm just reporting the fucking facts. And don't get mad at me, man. Don't fucking blame the messenger, dude. I'm just, I, I'm like in this thing to win it. And I'm not going to fucking go in there half cocked and be like, dude, the earth is round. Just look at the fucking shit. It's not easy to prove, guys. Because I don't go in, I don't do sophistry or wizardry in debates. I'm not going to go in and shame someone or uh, use tricks, rhetoric tricks. I want hard motherfucking evidence that the earth is round and i've never been up there just someone give me a concrete obvious fucking thing to let me win this fucking debate do your research then owen i okay now you're banned you don't think i do research you don't think i do this for what 10 12 hours a fucking day i listen to shit while i'm doing fence work all day and then i look it up in books Here's how I would try to explain it. Since the Earth is spinning, so is air attached to the surface of the planet. When you fly in the direction of the opposite of the spin, you are fighting at speed. Right. So if you're not in the air, right? And don't fucking get mad at me if this makes your head hurt. Just know that I'm not trying to fuck with you, okay? If the air is part of the spin and you get above the air, which is what flights do, why are you still subject to the subjective relative air movement of the spin of the earth? Let's say the air is cemented to the earth, which already is weird because if you spin a ball in, in water, the water doesn't stay with the ball, maybe a little bit, but not really. Let's say the air is completely with the spin of the earth. You are now above the air. Why the fuck are you still sub subject to the relative spin of the earth? If you're going against the spin, why are you not going twice as fast? And don't just say you're a retard, you're a conspiracy. Th what the fuck? Do you guys seriously think that already in motion inertia means anything in this? Like, please look up the words you fucking use. That doesn't mean anything. Already in motion inertia. What does that mean? If I had a gun to your fucking head and say, define what you just said, what does that mean? You would say, oh, I mean, <laughs> Owen telescope. So all the planets and moons we see through a telescope are round. So Earth is the only planet in our solar system is flat, really. Okay, retard. Imagine they're all flat disks, right? Do we see spheres in the sky? Dude, I'm getting angry because everybody that's acting like I'm retarded has not thought through any of their arguments. So if we see a bunch of circles in the sky, does that mean they're spheres or fucking dinner plates? You can't prove it. You can't prove it. That isn't a fucking argument. And if you're just gonna hang me out to dry, like I'm gonna go argue somebody, and, and your whole argument is you look in the sky and you see circles, and that means something is a fucking spear. I'm getting angry at the concept that I, I can't win this debate. Dude, take a pill, way too much drama, bro. Well, you're now banned for life. I, I've, been, I'm, I've had four drinks. I just hung out with my wife. I'm having a great time. Also, how can you see trillions of miles away? It, it's all nonsense. It's all nonsense. Someone please explain it to me that isn't retarded. Some people are thinking centrifugal force, that doesn't mean anything, and we both know that doesn't mean anything. How come when you look at a boat going out to sea and it vanishes at the viewer's convergence point, look through a pair of binoculars, you can see the boat again? The earth is, it can't be flat. I mean, that would just be insane. I, I, I don't. Oh, Eric, I won't destroy you too bad. I'm gonna win, you little cunt. Ha! <laughs> That's why I'm fucking, oh, Eric is actually here taking notes. I'm gonna win, Eric. That's why I'm taking this seriously. I need my people to fucking give me some intel. It's all science fiction, not an argument. Space is a vacuum, not an argument. Do you guys know what arguments are? Does anyone know what a fucking argument is? You're getting there, my friend. You're on the right track. I, I'm not getting in the flat earth cult. And no, sorry, I'm not gonna be disrespectful. Uh, that's a that that's sophistry. It's wizardry if I start mocking them for thinking something that I find ridiculous. Uh, space is water. Uh, I don't know what that means. That's fucking insane. If you t if you can take a variety of snapshots through a telescope of another planet and see if it's rotating, 
that that that's one of the worst arguments I could possibly imagine. So it's like saying, is my dog, does my dog have rabies? Well, I can see that dog that doesn't have rabies. This is like, this is a fucking nightmare. This is literally a nightmare trying to fucking disprove this thing. Well, if, if you look through your binoculars and see another dog without rabies, that means your dog doesn't have rabies. What in the fuck does that mean? Your in motion keeps moving. Okay, Jason, if you are not in a medium that is moving, how does that apply? Let's say you see a river flying by you and you are in the air looking at the river because you're standing on the riverbank. Are you in motion because you can see a river in motion? Of course not. That's an insanely stupid argument. If, if, if the atmosphere is all moving with the earth flying around at 1100 miles an hour and, and you are out of the atmosphere, which happens in low earth orbit or the average Delta flight, how in the fuck are you still subject to that to being in that medium? That doesn't make any sense. <clears throat> because you are moving when still first. That that means absolutely nothing, and we both know it. Drag means nothing. Science can't prove the earth moves. It literally can't. And this is fucking awful. Uh, if we hover over Earth, can we get to Australia faster? Guys, this is a nightmare. It's so fucking hard to prove 1100 miles per hour but it still takes 24 hours to make one rotation well i don't know i haven't done the math on that i really hope one can prove the earth is round me too penny take an astronomy course at your local university now you're banned i've obviously taken astronomy courses and that's not an argument okay another weird thing is that the sun is 400 times larger than the moon but it's 400 times farther away making it exact Eclipse, and they're both circles. Circle is not sphere. As it waxes and wanes, doesn't the moon's shadow at least point to it being spherical? That and, No, it does not. There's no way to do that. That's a two-dimensional image. There's going to be a lot of people just attacking me personally now. I don't give a fuck. I'm not a flat earth person. The earth is not flat. That's fucking psychotic. Does anyone else feeling a little nervous about this? Globe Earth, biggest line in history. Good luck with your search, Owen. Is that really your argument? That if you don't understand cancer, that proves the fucking earth is round? Come on, man. There's 3,556 people here and no one has a fucking argument that the earth is round. Geologists and physicists are full of crap. Okay, you're now, you're now banned. Dupay will use some wizardry on you and gatekeep. Right, that's why I need truth. Truth beats all wizardry. Someone please give me some fucking science that proves the earth is round. And this is not a flat earth channel. 95% of the people here believe the earth is round. Please, please God, someone give me an argument. Who looks for truth in a YouTube chat? Well, not you anymore, Larry. By the way, the only people named Larry are pedophiles and mailmen. I can't argue for moon phases without the moon being a sphere. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. You, I mean, is this public education? You can't land a plane on a spinning globe. Oh, God. This is a fucking nightmare. I can't be a flat earth person. I mean, I can't be a flat earth person. There's zero proof that you're spinning. Dude, literally there's none. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wrap this up here because this, this is so fucking depressing. It's mind-blowing. Open up Google Earth. This conversation will be a lot more simple when everyone can see the current model and scale. Earth, it's 3D globe. You can move around. So your your answer is Google Earth. That's the proof. And you guys are fine with that proof. You're like, oh, that's cool. That's all I need. If I do Google Earth, everything makes sense. Is there no math? Is there no fucking math? You got to be fucking kidding me. Oh, and you are, more, you are a flat earth person and just figuring out. No, I'm not a flat earth person. That's insane. Google earth. That, that's the answer. Google. You fucking children. The thing that's bothering me the most is how many people believe something that they've never thought about. That they don't, their arguments are literally like, well, look on Yahoo, idiot. 
I gotta go. This is fucking horrifying. Southern Hemisphere constellations are different than Northern. How can it be flat if what we see in the sky and the direction they move are different? Love ya. I still believe the Earth is round, so I, I'm sure that's a great argument. Can we please have something that won't have an answer? Like with the uh, moon landing, there's so many mic drop arguments. How is that the only time in history that a country's went somewhere that other countries haven't followed? Why did technology go in reverse? How did they live feed from the moon with a four second delay when it's more than a four second delay right now on CNN across the country? There's a million examples. Uh, there's none of that here. And I don't feel comfortable getting my ass beaten in a fucking debate. Guys, I, I said I would debate this guy because I thought it was a no fucking brainer. When you're above the atmosphere, you're in orbit. You're already, you, you already had inertia from the rotation and there's no longer air friction to slow you down. So you're orbiting around just like the moon is. That makes no sense, Dan. If you're going from west to east, let's say you're fighting the rotation. Your inertia based on the jet fucking pro your jets. So if you're going east to west, you have different inertia than west to east. Is that your argument? Is that your physics argument? You got to be fucking kidding me, man. So if you're going west to east and you go same amount of gasoline and you have the same fucking inertia. So your argument is either that combustion rockets don't work in a vacuum because that's a problem or you're wrong. <laughs> Fuck! The earth isn't flat. The earth is not flat. This is fucking madness. The skyscraper on the coast, the sun will set on the base before the top. This would bot happen with the sun hovering over a flat earth. Move a light bulb around a room and watch the shadows. Once you leave the surface of the earth, you still maintain the velocity you had while on the surface because of inertia. You don't fly off because of gravity. Okay, so let's say you're flying to the moon or Mars. You can't increase velocity after you leave Earth's gravitational field, orbit. So the 17,000 miles an hour is the inertia they got from liftoff. You you can't be fucking serious. You th These arguments work in your minds. So the 17,000 miles an hour that the, uh, that the NASA fucking dumb lie thing up there is going, do you think that they got that inertia from, from liftoff and that's all they could ever have? They couldn't get any more inertia for more rockets and more partying up there? Come on, dude. This is so fucking depressing. I can't be a flat earth person. This is... It's earth ma Earth's magnetic field. Is that is that your new proof that the Earth is round? Guys, no one knows why the Earth is round. I'm in a theater, theater of people right now. This is a massive theater, a massive theater. And no one knows why the Earth is round? No one knows? People say just inertia, the difference between speed and velocity. You guys really think that that proves that the Earth is fucking, fucking round? Hang on, Owen, compass, compass works flat. Owen, nobody can explain it if it's not true. Good night, bro. This can't, this can't be reality. I need an argument why the fucking earth is round. I gotta go. Please comment why the earth is round. Please, physicists, mathematicians, I, I, I really, really don't want to believe the Earth is flat, guys. You think I'm ostracized now? I've crossed every goddamn line there is. Can we please not do that to me? Can someone just please give me some, some ammo here that isn't inertia? Inertia? Subscribe. Hugepianist.com for my specials. PayPal.me slash feed the bear if you want to feed that bear. Patreon.com slash WDTL. But if the earth is flat, money won't matter because uh, 
I will be uh, alone in a little room, wondering what the point of any of it is. Why did we learn anything? Someone please help me disprove this bullshit. <laughs> Fuck! This is so fucking depressing. I can't be a flat earth person. This is... I mean, I can't be a flat earth person. Thank you.